fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today with an unboxing because I don't have enough whips going on. I finally got some hanger things, extensions, so that I can kind of cascade all my whips down my closet door in my craft room slash office. However, all of the ones that I currently have open are all squares, and I am feeling the need to put some time in with some rounds just because they go faster and I just, my mind needs a break from all the squares. The squares are great, I love squares, but I'm feeling the need to do a round. And so I went through my stash. <laughs> Honestly, I probably would have picked a different one, but this one was close and easy to get to instead of having to dig behind and through all of my other <laughs> boxes. <laughs> so I have this one. This is my last Diamond Dots. So I bought a couple of kits from Joann's I got this one and I had my Fox Bliss, which I did quite a while ago. And this one has been sitting there waiting for me. This one is called Seahorses and it is a partial, it's diamond dots, but it's round and it's super cute. So we're gonna dig into it. Okay, so we've got here our drills and our toolkit inside of it. We'll get to that in a minute. And then we have our canvas here. Add some sparkle to your world. So let me open the plastic. I'm gonna get out the drills as well as the canvas just so I can get to the tool kit. So I'll do the tool kit, then we'll do the canvas. So don't go anywhere. All right, so rolled up inside the canvas, you have this big booklet of instructions on how to diamond paint in multiple languages. I don't need this, so that's going in recycling. Then we have our tool kit here. So we have our tray. We have some extra baggies, we have our pin, we have a scrunchie, and we have some wax in our tool kit. Oh my gosh, you guys, the neighbor's dog is barking. The trash guy is going around picking up all the trash and he barks every time the truck makes a noise. So, so here is the canvas. We do have our schematic on both sides, as you can see. Now this is a diamond dot, so it does have their 8,000 numbers on there for the way that they do their drills. I don't know if I'm gonna save these or not. If I've got any ABs in here, I may, which their ABs are 5,000, so it doesn't look like I have any ABs, but we'll see. Anyway, so here it is. It's just these very pretty two seahorses, and of course it's a partial, so you're only gonna diamond paint the seahorses. This background here, I love this kind of watercolor mottled looking background. I just think it's super pretty. And it starts out, you know, with the starfish and the coral at the top, and then you get down to the two seahorses. They're kind of back to back with the bubbles. And then down here at the bottom, we've got some kelp and seaweed and things like that. But I just, yeah, I just need a change. I'll take some B-roll so you guys can kind of see the whole thing. I know sometimes with the cover sheets, the shininess from the lights, the reflection is not great, but yeah, I'll take some B-roll so you can see it. So this is a 52 by 66 is the design size they say, and the fabric is 60 by 74. So I think the widest part of the design is here, this edge, maybe this edge to up here where this is. So that looks to me like 47 and a half. They say 52. I don't see the 52, but 47 and a half for me. Oh, maybe they're counting from edge to, yeah, 52. They're counting from edge to edge, not just drill field. Interesting. And then 66, so let's measure it this way. So 66 from edge to edge. It is 66, but if I just count the design field or the drill field, it's like 61 and a half from top to bottom. It is a partial, like I said, but for the design size, I guess that makes sense because you're going to cut it at where all the lines are and keep that. Although since this is kind of a model background, if your lines weren't straight, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, so there's the canvas. It's got cord glue, but it's nice and sticky, but it's just where you need it to be. So just where the drills are going to be. Let me get this to lay here nicely. Let's get that back a little bit and then we will look at our drills. We've got a couple of sleeves of drills here it looks like. Ooh, I do have some ABs. All right, so we've got this very pretty kind of grayish turquoise 
and then a slightly lighter shade of that. We've got like a dark mauve, a purple, and then we've got some light green ABs. Those are very pretty. I think I actually used these same, the same shade in the Spangler that I did to add ABs into that. So happy to have some more of those. Then I've got some more ABs here. I've got some yellow ABs. And then I've got two different shades, got like a yellowish orange and then an orange, a salmon and a dark salmon, a dark purple, a slightly lighter purple, like a periwinkle and then a slate blue. Ooh, and that is a super deep, dark reddish purple. I like that color. That's one of the reasons I like this kit because it has so many different colors. All right, then in this one, we've got like a dark mulberry. We've got three different shades of green, a green, a slightly darker green, and then a dark green. We've got like a dark coral, a very dark blue, and then that's like a dark navy blue, and then a just a regular navy blue. We've got a butterscotch, a caramel, and then like a milk chocolate color. Wasn't expecting there to be browns in here. That'll be interesting. All right, and then our last sleeve, we've got like a pink, almost kind of dark bubblegum color. Ooh, are those the same shade? No. So three different shades of very dark green. So we've got our darkest shade here, which is like a hunter green, a slightly lighter hunter green, and then like a forest green a super dark blue, two shades of turquoise, a regular and then a light turquoise. We've got another like rose pink, a very kind of light turquoise blue, and then a pink. So lots of different colors. How many colors are there? Oh, there is, it does list a 1AB as the 5,000. Where does the other one go? Let me look through, I'm gonna put the drills back in the, out of the way, and then we'll look at where the ABs go, as well as, I think I just had the two, but I'm not seeing the number for the other one, so I'll find out where that goes and I'll be right back. So our green AB kind of goes a little bit of everywhere. It's like a little highlight throughout all of the kelp. It's on the seahorses. There's some on the bubble throughout the whole seahorses. And then of course, at the bottom where the kelp is and everything, it's there too. That one is listed as a 5,000. Now the other AB, which is the yellow one, is listed as a 2,007. So I don't know if that means, it's slight, it looks slightly smaller in size. I don't think it actually is. Maybe it's just more rounded. Maybe it's more like a pearl than a facet. So it's 2007 and it is through like the face of this seahorse here. It's on the face of this seahorse. So like little accent pieces kind of all down to add a little bit of sparkle. So how many colors do I have? They do their little numbering system with A. So 35 colors is actually more colors than I thought I would have. But yeah, super excited to get started with this one. Like I said, I just feel like this one probably isn't going to take very long for one thing. I probably won't save the drills. So I don't really need to worry about that. It's going to be pretty quick to kit up and then I can just oh, give my brain a little bit of a break, which is something I need. They are, today's been a long day, you guys. They're still working on the street. It's trash day. The dog has been barking incessantly. Oh, yeah, I need something so that I can kind of find my Zen today. And I think this is going to be it. I will, as always, stick a link down below. I bought this online from Joann's. It was not that expensive. I want to say it was only like 30 some dollars. And if you can find it when they're having a sale or you've got a coupon or something, then you can get it for even cheaper. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.